In this lesson, you'll learn two ways to play Imagine. The first way is a finger-picking version, and I think it's the most beautiful way to play this song. The second way is a more simple version using an easy beginning level strumming pattern. At the end of the lesson, you can join me for a play along where I'll play through the entire song, demonstrating both the finger picking patterns and the strumming pattern. Now let's get started by taking a look at how to play the chords in this song. Our first chord is C. I'm playing C with my ring finger on the third fret of the first string. And next we have C major seven, which is the second fret of the first string. Here I'm using my middle finger. And then we have our F chord. To play F, I have my index finger on the first fret of the second string and my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Next we have A minor. To go from F to A minor, we'll lift up our index finger, keeping our middle finger in place on the second fret of the fourth string. Next we have D minor. To play D minor, we can start with our F chord and add the second fret of the third string. Then we have our G chord. I'm playing G with my index and middle fingers on the second fret of strings three and one, and my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Next we have G7. Here I have my middle and ring fingers on the second fret of strings three and one, and my index finger on the first fret of the second string. And then our last chord is E7. To form our E7 chord, we're going to keep our middle and ring fingers on the second fret of strings three and one, and move our index finger to the first fret of the fourth string. Next, we'll take a look at our finger picking version of the song. So we'll walk through how to play the verses and the chorus using finger picking patterns and short riffs. Here's the riff that we'll use on the introduction and the first three lines of the verses. In the first measure, we're alternating between the third fret of the second string and the open third string. We'll go back and forth three times between strings two and three. And then we're going to play strings one and two together, placing our middle finger on the second fret of the first string. In the second measure, we'll place our index finger on the first fret of the second string, and we're going to alternate between strings one and two and the open third string. So we'll go back and forth three times. And then we'll finish this measure with three notes on the first string. We're going to pick the open first string and then hammer onto the first fret and then the second fret. Now as an alternative to the hammer-ons, you can also pick each note. We're going to play this riff twice in the introduction and once on the first three lines of each verse. As an example, here's the first line of verse one. Imagine there's no heaven. The second riff is played on line four of the verses, and the difference between this riff and the first is at the end of measure two. So instead of playing the three notes on our first string, we're going to continue alternating between strings one and two and the open third string. So here's how it sounds to apply the second riff to line four of verse one, alternating between strings one and two and string three four times. Above us only sky. 
Next, we have a simple finger picking pattern that we're going to use on lines five and six of the verses. We're going to pick all four strings on each beat. So for our F chord at the beginning of line five, this chord is held for two beats. Then A minor is held for two beats, two beats on D minor, and then two beats on F. Now in line six of the verses, we have a G chord that's held for four beats, and then the G7 chord at the end of line six is also held for four beats, but for this chord, I'd like to pick all four strings only one time. This gives a nice musical pause to the end of the verse before we move into the next section. If you're enjoying this lesson, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I'm Lara. I'm a musician, a composer, and a ukulele teacher, and I hope you have fun exploring my channel my song tutorials, and my arrangements. If you'd like to download the song sheet for Imagine, including the lyrics, chords, patterns, and riffs, you can do so from my Patreon page, along with my songbook covering all of the tutorials that I've shared. You'll find the link down below in the video description. Now that we've covered how to finger pick the verses, let's take a look at the chorus. We're going to use this finger picking pattern on the chorus. I'm starting by picking string four with my thumb, string three with my index finger, and then strings one and two together with my middle and ring fingers. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two and. For the chorus, every chord is held for two beats except for the final C at the end of line four which is held for four beats. So for the first three lines of the chorus, we're going to apply this finger picking pattern once to each chord. So once on F, once on G, once on C, and then once on E7. In line four, we'll play our pattern once on F, once on G, and then I like to pick all four strings on C to end the chorus. And now for our strumming version of the song, let's take a look at our easy strumming pattern and how to apply it to the verses and the chorus. To strum the song, we'll play a down strum on every beat. So on a C chord, it will look like this. introduction and the first four lines of the verses, we have a repeating chord sequence of C to C major 7 to F. Every time this chord sequence comes up, we're going to play C for three beats, C major 7 for one beat, and F for four beats. So here's how this looks. example, here's how it sounds to add the lyrics over the strumming for the first line of verse 1. Imagine there's no heaven. In line 5 of the verses, each of our four chords is held for two beats, so we'll play two down strums on F, two down strums on A minor, D minor, and back to F. In line six of the verses, our G chord is held for four beats, so four down strums, and then we go to G7, which is also held for four beats, However, because this is the final chord of the verse, 
I like to play just one down strum or one arpeggio or broken chord played slowly to really emphasize the end of the verse. Now applying our strumming pattern to the chorus, each of our chords in the chorus is held for two beats except for the final C chord. So for lines one, two, and three, we'll do two down strums on F, on G, two down strums on C, and on E7. In the final line of the chorus, we'll play two down strums on F, two down strums on G, and just like the end of the verses, I like to play just one down strum on C to end the chorus. Or you can play a nice slow arpeggio. Five, six, seven, eight. Thanks for watching.